I think we'll start this out with an example. You the filter chain is you're going to have a pass. I'm a bit loud. You grab by the function. Qualifier. Yeah, right. We might be wrong. We're funny, but not always a pass. Response is gonna cost you something, right? Isn't that, I mean, <laughs> screw it. We'll just end the lecture right there. I mean, that's just, that's kind of all you need to know. So another, another thing we wanna cover when we're talking about negative punishment. So the reduction of a behavior by the removal of a stimulus, right? So a negative punishment. Another way to think of it and is response cost, right? Um, Response cost is a, I love the term. Just the terminology itself describes exactly what's going on. A particular response is going to cost you something, right? Um, so that cost you something, that's the part that has the power, right? So, um, so when we're thinking about response cost, if the person engages in the inappropriate behavior, we're going to remove some type of reinforcer. We're going to remove a certain amount of reinforcement. So let's say we got a kiddo in a school, right? So the kiddo is engaging in inappropriate behavior in the classroom. The teacher says, that's it. I've had enough. You are going to lose two minutes of recess. So they took away two minutes of the recess because of the inappropriate responding. So that's a response cost. Now, the funny thing is I kind of described a group scenario of response, response cost, which is highly effective. I've, I've been through basic training. I, I know that that's how they do it in the military, right? So um, you engage in these group, you engage in a behavior as a group. So if I had screwed something up, the entire group paid the price, which then created a whole other social control thing and all sorts of other stuff that we don't need to get into right now. But Response cost is an important tool, right? Oftentimes you're gonna hear it used in combination with things like recess. You'll hear it used in combination with uh, tokens. So speaking of tokens, I got me some tokens. In fact, I'm just getting all the tokens, right? And I like the tokens, I hoard the tokens. I'm a token hoarder, right? So around here we like to use tokens. That was kind of cool. All right, so around here we like to use tokens, um, and when you when we catch you doing well, which we tend to do a lot, um, which is why we got a lot of tokens. So we catch the kiddos doing well, so we um, drop some tokens for them. All right, so hey, congratulations, you earned two marbles, or hey, congratulations, you earned a marble. Um, and we often describe exactly what it is, right? Because we're trying to reinforce, but sometimes, not very often. Sometimes, because we actually, I'm just kind of lying to you a little bit, that we, we do tend to be fairly thin on our reinforcers with the delivery of tokens. Uh, just, it's a parenting thing. We're not, we're not being great behavior analysts with it. We're just kind of screwing it up. Um, so we're kind of thin, so we have to be aware of that. And, and we don't use a lot of response costs, but we could. Let's say this is the batch of tokens that my kiddo had earned this week for being good. That's a lot of darn tokens. But um, then maybe he walks up and kicks the dog. Ooh, right? So I'm going to take... 17 tokens from you, okay? So for kicking the dog, I took 17 tokens away. Uh, okay, so that response cost you a bunch of tokens. Now, that's one effective tool. There's other type of response cost that you could do. Um, you could ground people, right? So take away their social fun. You could take away their... I've got teenagers too. The best form of response cost with a teenager is to take away their telephones because, oh my gosh, the power of that is unbelievable. Give it to me for five days, that's fine, right? So um, that's a response cost scenario. Um, taking away video games, that's what my dad used to do to me. So taking away the Atari, that dates me a little bit, but whatever. Um, so yank the Atari, that's a response cost. Um, oh, here's another good one. Um, you're sitting at the poker table, right? And you make the wrong call. I'm gonna lose me some tokens. I'm gonna lose me some chips. Okay, so, and that's specifically money. Um, so that's money going down the drain, which that's not a very good thing, right? Um, and you can tell how I play poker by just throwing my chips away. So um, that's all response costs. So the thing about the tokens, about the poker chips though, is kind of cool because that gets you thinking about money. Money gets you thinking about fines. There you go, right? Fines, like getting a ticket, that's actually response cost. It's the loss of money. Not only the loss of money from paying the ticket, but the loss of money from the insurance company that's gonna yank extra money from you. That's, sometimes it's not okay to speed, right? You're gonna, the response cost is kind of heavy. So 
the, again, immediacy, that's, I'm sorry, my brain's kind of going crazy here. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that's associated with response cost. And just like the rest of behavior analysis, it seems to be that immediacy and those types of things have an important effect. So if you're going to implement response costs, don't do it like, all right, when in four days, we're gonna, when we get back to the house, we're gonna go ahead and take your tokens away from you. No, 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 no. take them away now. Um, so that's what the poker table uh, response cost is highly effective. I bet on the wrong thing, tokens are gone right away. Now, cop pulls me over for speeding down the road. The money's not gone right away. Is it effective? I don't know. It depends on, the, the, depends on my future behavior. Is my behavior going to reduce? The speeding going to reduce? Then it might have been effective. If not, then it wasn't. So, uh, but again, immediacy is really important. Um, so we got that's, so I've been covering what's called ba uh, basic response cost. You can also do bonus response cost. This is kind of cool. I'm going to get those tokens again. Um, so imagine um, if um, I gave somebody, if I knew that Somebody was going to be working on some new skills, right? And this is, think about what I just said. So if, if I'm kind of building up some new skills, and there's lots of opportunities for you to make some mistakes. And I might want to punish those mistakes by, uh, by removing tokens. What I don't want to do is dip into your entire bucket and take all your tokens away from you. That's just a bad idea, right? So I'll get into why here in a moment. So what I can do is give you some extra tokens to start the day with, and then I can work with those. So if I give you a batch of extra tokens, now we're talking about bonus response cost here. So let's say I start the day by saying, hey, congratulations, welcome to class, here's an extra 42 tokens. So I give you these tokens to start the day, but I have to set these aside. Now, because they're set aside, I'm gonna start peeling out of those for response cost, right? So I'm gonna pull those things out of there. Notice I haven't touched your regular tokens. So I'm not, not really messing with what you've already earned, okay? I'm messing with what you could have earned, which is interesting, right? So anyway, bonus response cost, pretty cool, but. Um, because you give people extra things. My teachers did this um, when I was a kid. They would give you extra recess at the beginning of the day, and then if the class was engaging in appropriate behavior, you could keep it, but each time they did something naughty, they would cross a minute off or something like that from the recess, um, so you would start to lose that bonus reinforcer, if you will. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, -bum 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 -bum. The bonus response cost is a useful procedure because it helps you avoid a scenario where the person loses all their reinforcers. That's really bad. <laughs> if I start punishing so much that all of your tokens are gone or all of your sources of reinforcement from your world have been removed, your behavior is gonna do all sorts of wacky stuff and most of it's not gonna be stuff that I want, right? Um, when I get you to that point where all reinforcers are gone, you're gonna get frustrated, you're gonna possibly even get violent, there's gonna be aggression, there's gonna be all sorts of things that are gonna pop up. So we don't want that scenario to happen. So keep in mind, when we're using response cost, like everything else I've said on every video, make sure you're reinforcing behavior as well. Strengthen the behavior you want, use response cost to get rid of the behavior you don't want. But make sure that that ratio is heavy towards reinforcing the behavior you want, okay? So we've got immediacy, we covered that, we've covered the bonus response cost, the regular response cost, we've covered um, um, running out of reinforcers, um, that's a, you just don't want that, right? Um, don't go into debt. Yeah, don't, yeah, you can't go into reinforcer debt. You do that and you're gonna be doing all sorts of, that's when, that, yeah, I don't even wanna get into the types of behavior that are gonna pop up. It's just bad stuff in general. Um, all of the problems with punishment apply to the use of response cost, okay? So setting examples, and people are gonna use those examples in the future. Um, again, you become a discriminated, uh, you, just, you, you can become a discriminated punisher. Um, lying pops up, all right? So lying is one that happens regularly. Hey, little Billy, I, I, did you do that inappropriate? No, I didn't do that at all. <laughs> I did not throw all those tokens on the floor today, mama. <laughs> I promise you I didn't do that, right? So um, I'm avoiding things by lying. Okay, so you can strengthen lying behavior pretty easily um, if you're using punishment inappropriately or if you're not cautious while you're using punishment. Um, the discrimination procedure, ran into that one, that problem. I don't know, I, I, I tend to run out of things to say about punishment because these things are pretty easy. So again, just a quick recap. Um, you could even argue that this is a special type of, uh, um, uh, of timeout, but I'm not gonna really go there right now, I'll just let you think about that. So response cost, again, loss of reinforcement um, for contingent on a particular behavior, so it's just another way of saying negative punishment. All sorts of examples of this in the real world. Highly, highly effective tool, but watch out. Really, really watch out to make sure you're not overusing it. It's an effective tool, which tends to make you more likely to use it, and that can be dangerous for the person you're using it with. All right? Because it's reinforcing for you, don't forget, that other person, that person you're working with, better be getting lots and lots of reinforcement out there. So um, I can't overstress that enough.
I'm going to go play some poker. Lose some money. See you.